the end of October and it's the best time of year to talk to you about this particular plant here. This is known as Uni Moline and uh, sometimes called Chilean guava, perhaps more commonly known as Chilean guava. And we've had this one for, well, we planted it here about five years ago. Before that, we had it in our garden in a quite a, a tucked away space, to it, so it didn't grow that well. But, so I would say the size it is now, I'm crouching down, <laughs> but this is maybe five feet high, heading sort of 1.5 meters. Um, and it's quite broad as well. And you can see it's laden with fruit. And the fruit, fruit is interesting because it's this color earlier in the season. So you could easily come out and look at these tiny little berries, which are already bright red, because <laughs> of course many fruits ripen, change color to tell you they're ready. Whereas these, you kind of have to guess on the basis of how big they are. Um, so I would say a lot of these are ready to eat now. Um, and of course, we're also at that time where it's a red berry and birds, <laughs> birds do tend to like red berries, although they don't seem to particularly strip this shrub at the moment. So we've had this one for, yes, about five years uh, here and a few years before that. So I would say this is probably what you would get after between six and eight years. And what's interesting about at the moment is that we've got flowers, <laughs> so we have flowers. So flowers normally in the spring, but of course, climate is getting a bit weird. So we currently have a few flowers on here and they're these beautiful little pink bell flowers. So it's a shrub that looks beautiful anyway and there's quite a nice scent to it. Um, and then there's the fruit, which comes quite late in terms of berries. Most berries are done by now. So it's a good thing to have in the garden for a late fruit. I mean, it's almost, we don't really give it any attention at all. <laughs> it just grows here. It's in semi-shade so it's not very demanding of sun um, it's I don't even know particularly pH wise um, we're on a fairly or it's very slightly alkaline soil here and we've not done anything to change the soil it looks a bit like a cranberry or something so one would imagine maybe it likes acid soils but it doesn't seem to really be fussed about that I first came across it in Ireland when I was living there and the soils there were quite acidic so you might be quite happy with that but obviously it's tolerant of what it's got here it's certainly cold hardy for places like the west of ireland and cornwall it grows there's no problems at all with it uh, in that regard and yeah the berries are apparently they were queen victoria's favorite berry <laughs> and she had them grown in cornwall and shipped up to london where she could enjoy them um, what else to say? They're very tasty. Um, they have a, they are, they're sweet. They also have a very slight sort of aromatic thing going on with them. The skin is slightly, only very, very slightly chewy. It's not something that you, you wouldn't need to spit the skin out or anything, but the skin is slightly chewy. Um, I think they're delicious. Yeah. And when you get a really good one, they're that bit sweeter, so um, highly recommended. Chili and guava. They take a little while to grow. They're evergreen. They require very little attention, um, perhaps protecting from the birds at some point. But as you can see, uh, it's laden with fruit and there's no interest at the moment. So uh, enjoy.